Hey everybody, this is Eric with Phone Scoop. Today we're taking a look at the Nokia N8, the company's new Symbian 3 device, and the first that uh, uses a capacitive screen and has pentaband radios on board, which means it's compatible with uh, 3G networks from AT&T and T-Mobile in the U.S., as well as a number of carriers across Asia and Europe. The device is uh, really good hardware. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the phone itself, the actual physical device. Uh, we've got a 3.5-inch uh, OLED display here with um, 360 by 640 pixels. Looks pretty good. You can see a secondary camera and a light sensor there. On the bottom of the front surface, we have just this tiny little home key here. And uh, you can see like the little notch for the microphone. On the left side of the device, we've got two hatches, one covering the micro SD card and the other covering the SIM card slot. Yep, you heard me right. You can get the SIM card right here on the side of the phone. We also have micro USB for charging and, uh, and data transfer. On the bottom, a little bit hard to see, but uh, there you go. Right there, we've got a uh, mini pin charger. It's compatible with uh, the Nokia's uh, mini pin chargers, and uh, so you can charge it via either USB or the mini pin. And uh, on the right side of the device, we have a few more things going on. You can see two stage camera key, a sliding lock switch, as well as a volume toggle. And on the back, you can see the camera module. It's actually uh, pretty large. You can see how much it sticks up from the surface of the phone. And it's a little bit noticeable when you have it in a tight jeans pocket. Um, but that's the uh, 12 megapixel monster with Carl Zeiss optics, a uh, actual Xenon flash, autofocus, and the whole works. And on the very top of the N8, we've got a power key an HDMI port, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So that's the hardware. Uh, in all, it, it, it feels good, it works good, it's a, it's a nice size and weight, the materials feel good, and uh, I like the, the combination of glass, metal, and plastic. So well done to Nokia on the hardware. Does the software uh, do as good a job? Let's take a quick look. This is the basic home screen of the Symbian 3 and 8. Uh, there are three home screens. And uh, you can get to them by uh, swiping to the uh, to the left or to the right. Uh, and we can also use this little uh, this little tool down here. Press it once, and it just uh, cycles through. So you can just quickly bing, 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 zoom through all the different home screens. The options button uh, opens up a secondary menu to uh, interact with uh, some of the screen items here. You can see edit the home screen, uh, interact with the widgets, and we'll cancel out of that. And the uh, physical home key here, if we press that, it brings up the main menu. And this looks very similar to uh, standard S60 devices, a uh, little bit the menu system you're used to seeing there. Anybody familiar with Nokia S60 will, uh, will you know, feel right at home here. Applications are dumped in this folder here, which doesn't seem to want to open. There we go. And uh, you can see the different applications in here. Not too many apps are preloaded, but enough so that uh, it's, uh, it's usable. Back here out of the main screen, if we want to make phone calls, uh, we simply uh, dial the number here, and you can see the pretty decent sized dial pad. And you can also uh, search. We will uh, do a uh, quick little tap here and uh, we'll call information just so you can see what the calling screen looks like and it brings up this uh, this interface and you can see we can end the call, we can mute it, put it on speakerphone and hitting the options lets us do a whole bunch of different other things and this looks a pretty typical screen for uh, for a Nokia calling function we'll go back out to the uh, to the main screen and you can see the call log, your contacts uh, Nokia maps, the OV store um, the browser, the photo gallery, and so on. Scrolling over, you can see we've got a widget for uh, email uh, right here. This is my Gmail account there. There's the calendar, uh, which doesn't appear to be syncing appropriately, and a music widget. So I've uh, you know got access to my tunes right there. And on this screen, uh, the N8 came preloaded with a number of different uh, widgets. They've got CNN, some movie trailers, uh, National Geographic. And these things uh, deliver content from the network. You know, they'll pull down 
um, feeds and, and headlines from uh, from the internet and uh, and stick them in here. Of course, uh, one of the claims to fame of the N8 is its powerful camera, so we will launch that and uh, look at the interface of the camera. Uh, it's it's pretty reminiscent of cameras that we've seen on other Nokia devices. You can see we've got settings here and can make any sort of adjustments we want to a lot of different things. You can see scenes, face detect, grid, timer, tone, white balance, and so on. We can also turn the flash on and off, and we can jump quickly to the uh, to the video camera. And uh, taking a picture, you can see it, uh, it processes pretty fast and gets you back to the camera lickety-split so that you can uh, keep taking pictures. So that's, of course, always nice. Going to the gallery, fire up the gallery software. You can see, uh, let's just uh, play a slideshow here. And it's going to open. And uh, there you go. We can uh, look at different images we've shot. You can see they look pretty good on the screen. Uh, plenty of color and, uh, and sharpness and detail is, uh, is in the images here. Uh, this was from a town festival uh, that was uh, near where I live over the weekend. A little bit of a petting zoo action going on there. So that's the uh, software controlling the camera on the gallery. And of course it has a, uh, the Nokia browser, um, S60 style browser, which I have to say is not the best. Um, you can see it's kind of unresponsive and is actually kind of crashing right here on me right in the middle of this uh, demonstration. We will uh, look at web page options. You can see the go to. Let's look at the history since that'll be the easiest. And uh, we can uh, go to Google and uh, we'll see how quickly this loads. And uh, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast because it's, ca it's cached, of course. Options let you, uh, you know, take some different actions in here. Um, you can see web page options, display options, clearing privacy data. And it's also got this little tool here, which pops up a secondary menu for, uh, for you know, a little bit more finger-friendly stuff than some of the, uh, the, the list-driven menus. These are all icons and pretty easy to tap with your finger. So browsing is okay. Uh, it doesn't compare to some of the other WebKit browsers on the market, but it's definitely better than the browsing experience on some older Nokia phones. So that's just a quick overview of the Nokia N8. Uh, 12 megapixel camera that is a quad band GSM Edge. It works on both AT&T and T-Mobile's 3G networks and uh, is one of the first Symbian 3 devices to hit the market. So there it is, the Nokia N8.